When it was released in the year 2000, it was the greatest film camera ever made. In 2019, it's still the greatest film camera ever made. This is the Canon 1D. Perhaps claims of it being the best are somewhat debatable. Some may argue that Nikon's F5 of 1996 was up there with the Canon 1D, but one thing is for sure. Canon 1V represents a pinnacle of professional sports film cameras. It was the end of an era, the end of the line for flagship film cameras. It would be just two years later that Canon would release the 1D. We face something very similar today in which the upcoming but yet to be announced Canon 1DX Mark III looks to bookend the legacy of the EF mount. I got my Canon 1D a few years ago when I realized that the poor college kid who could never afford decent gear could now easily buy Canon's best for a mere $500. If you've used any Canon DSLR in the last few years, you're going to be instantly familiar with the Canon 1D. Everything is exactly where you expect it to be. You have nothing but the essentials at your fingertips. Sure, you don't have dedicated dials like you might expect or a lot of Nikon cameras might offer you, including the F5, but instead Canon's opted for what I think might be a more effective me method for changing your different features. Everything is controlled by three buttons on the top plate of the camera, and that pretty much will change seven different functions. You do this by pressing a combination of different buttons in order to change different features, and you do that with your shutter dial. There is one button that does have different features depending on whether you use the shutter dial or the rear controller, but other than that, everything can be done in just one way, meaning from one position, you can change all your features. You don't have to reposition your hand to different locations on the camera just to move a dial. I actually think this is a more effective way of doing things, although I do miss the tactile experience. When it comes to lenses, you can use any EF glass you own. EFS glass won't work, but I use all a big selection of pro lenses, which is just an incredible experience. There's nothing like shooting film with pro lenses. This is a camera I reach for when I'm not as concerned with the experience of shooting with it, meaning I personally like really quirky cameras that are difficult to use. It just makes it fun to do. However, when I want a camera that effortlessly does what I need it to do, like when I'm working, this is the camera I grab. Not only are all of your EF lenses gonna be compatible with 1V, but all of your flash units are as well. I mean TTL everything. You can use this camera exactly as you're using your 5D or your 1DX. There's no difference. TTL works flawlessly. And so this is a camera you can actually shoot professional work on. Now I know you may not think shooting film is the way to go for professional work, at least if you're doing things like events, but I do it for myself. I will bring my 1V along, I throw it in my bag. It works interchangeably with my 5D3, my 7D Mark II. I don't have to bring separate lenses and then I can shoot a roll on the job which keeps me engaged with the job and keeps me loving what I do. I've done this for 10 years and it's important to find ways to constantly just excite you and keep things on keep you on your toes. Next, we'll talk about the design of the camera. To me it screams 90s. Everything's rounded with curved edges. It's unlike the Nikon F5 where you have a lot of hard lines and different edges that kind of remind me of the 80s. But this camera just makes sense to me. Although I don't visually think it's the most interesting camera in the world, everything is exactly where it should be. And that's what Canon gets. They put things where it should be. The ergonomics are fantastic. And we can talk about build quality. This camera is very is going to be very hard to be rivaled by even modern cameras. It is a fully weather sealed camera. Everything is made of metal except for a part or two. I believe the film window obviously isn't metal and uh, one or two pieces are plastic, but this is mostly a metal camera. So I don't wanna get crazy into features because I'm not that interested in cameras for their specs. I'm going to link in the description below um, a resource so you guys can check that out. But let's talk about some basics and then some features I just find kind of interesting. So the basics are, it is only a three or three and a half frames per second, I forget which, without a booster, but you can use a booster that the HS version came with. HS was for high speed. It basically let you do 10 frames a second. You can also attach two other grips, one that just gives you power, and then the one I actually have, which is from a 1N. This will give it up to six frames a second. It has servo, it has single shot, it has everything you expect. It has 45 autofocus points that work incredibly well. Some people have argued it works better than some newer digital cameras. I don't know about that, but I will say this, it works like you expect a modern camera to work. 
there's no slow focusing or anything like that so if you are coming from any pro camera you're gonna feel good about this one so the first interesting feature worth noting is that you can imprint on your roll of film so when you load the roll of film it will do an imprint it will make an imprint on it that helps you track that roll I think this was mostly designed for a team of photographers so that you could tell who shot what roll but I think it might be interesting just to track your rolls if you're not good at remembering the order you shot it in or something else like that it could be interesting the next one is cool but probably not usable with this camera you are able to track the EXIF data, meaning you can see how you shot your roll. You can see your settings, your shutter, your aperture, etc. However, you need dated software and probably a dated computer to run that. So I don't think it's really a usable option, but it is cool to know it's there. Another cool feature, and actually my 5D3 and 7D Mark II have this, would be an instant recall to any focus point you want. By default, the Canon does set, Canon does set it to the middle focus point but you can change that to anything you want maybe you want it higher up for like eye line shots that kind of thing um mine is set to the middle point but i also feel very comfortable changing my focus point on the fly so it's not a big deal to me my favorite interesting feature on the 1v is the ability to set your role to leave out the film leader when it rewinds what this means that is that if you develop all your own film like i do you don't have to open the canister like a crazy person and i say crazy person because that's how i open mine you can watch my video on how i do it but this way I can just pull the leader out and I can roll it onto a reel without a problem. I love this feature. When it comes to purchasing the 1V, Canon actually sold it still until recently. It was only somewhat recently discontinued. Now if you're finding an older model, keep in mind that this is a camera for and used by working professionals. They're gonna be beat up. But because it was made for such a long period of time, I do think you can find copies in excellent condition. So in conclusion, if you want a professional grade film camera that's gonna work with all of your existing gear if you're a Canon shooter, the 1V is hard to beat. I bought my 1V from Amazon with prime shipping for $500 and it was worth every penny. In fact, it may have been an investment because prices have continued to go up. I have no intention of selling this camera because I know I have Canon's best for the foreseeable future.